Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, I just wanted to show you um, some very uh, powerful um, information uh, that will uh, help those um, experimenting with uh, which database to go with for whatever platform or whatever they're going to do with a database for um, um, storing data, obviously. Um, I created a survey a while back um, uh, about which uh, database uh, our users are using and surprisingly the most popular um, database uh, and then this is also including uh, everything from all the new SQL options to uh, MySQL, all the open source and commercial databases out of probably close to 200 um, responses uh, MySQL was easily number one um, which represented close to half um, followed by Postgres uh, which is another open source database which is a little more advanced than uh, MySQL SQL, um, MySQL but not as um, not as uh, popular uh, and the other one that was third was uh, SQLite um, so that's more of a very lightweight database um, but very limited in what it can do um, and then you get the usual uh, Oracle, SQL Server, and then all the new SQL choices there, which included Couch and uh, Mongo. Uh, those two most too popular. But nonetheless, um, uh, I've I've wanted to experiment uh, trying to access MySQL through R. This is a post that you're looking at. Here's the URL. I'll post that uh, um, on the uh, blog. Um, <coughs> So essentially, uh, right now you're looking at uh, my Ubuntu desktop uh, environment, which is obviously Linux, um, and that's in a virtual machine uh, using VirtualBox from uh, Oracle, originally from Sun. Um, so essentially, I'm using uh, R Studio. I've installed the R MySQL pretty easily. Um, it's come under install packages here and just type in your R MySQL and it'll take care of all that but um, this will not I don't think this will work on Windows just do the fact that you need a, uh, a Linux GCC Lite compiler uh, which is part of the install of the R MySQL obviously you need MySQL install I'm not going to get into either of those uh, types of how to do that um, there's tons of videos on YouTube and uh, other online resources that you can get. We're just here to focus on R, but <coughs> nonetheless, I wanted to show you uh, my my MySQL shell. Um, these are all my databases that I have. And these are from um, various different testing databases. But there's two that um, I've been playing with uh, from a potential trading platform I'm looking at called uh, Trading Shim. S H I M generates these two uh, uh, databases for you. Now let me just show you the one that has some data or at least tables in there. So if I'm going to use the uh, testing database, okay, uh, and then show the tables, uh, and then from there I'm going to use uh, uh, let's say, actually we'll just leave it at that. There is no data <coughs> in any of these tables, but there is tables. I just want to show you what needs to be done and to show you how things work. Uh, essentially, when you come to this URL uh, site, um, obviously you have to load in your MySQL uh, R package, or R MySQL, and then from there you need to connect into the database. So in my case, um, I'll just show you what I did. Uh, which is pretty simple stuff. It's not difficult uh, if you know if if you know um, if you know uh, MySQL, you should have no problems. So here's that DB Connect, um, which will create a MyDB uh, object. Um, nothing fancy, just some MySQL database object. Um, obviously, got to give the credentials into your database. Uh, the DB name and the host, obviously, localhost works. Uh, it's on the same system. Um, so going back into the uh, into this uh, page here. Now I want to list all the uh, t 
tables that are available. Uh, not sure. Oh, yeah, this will work. Um, so. Just uh, so uh, in my history, I've got that uh, same uh, command. So we've created my DB, um, and now we're going to list the tables. So no different than in the shell I just showed you. These are all the tables. Um, what's it? Volatility, blah blah blah. UND, con, all that stuff. So now, if I go back to my uh, website here. Um, and then I'm going to list the fields um, of a particular table. So let me show you my RStudio um, the history. Uh, so in my case, uh, I'm going to list out the columns of volatility. So there you go. Next up is uh, uh, I'm not going to be doing any uh, inserts from my uh, prototyping. I'm just using R just to read and access data from my uh, from the MySQL database. So I'm only going to be doing queries, no inserts, no updates, nothing like that. Just pure, pure, pure uh, um, select statements. That's it. Just reading the database. So um, I'm not going to bother doing any table changes. We know it works. It's connected. Um, the only other thing I'm going to show you is that the query does work. Um, but obviously, like I said, there's no data. So let me just show you that from the history again in our studio. So there you go. So now what it's going to do is do is select star from the volatility. Obviously, uh, there is this RS um, object, the result set. There you go. Um, and then we'll try to do a, a fetch of that data. Okay. It's no different listed here. Okay, uh, and then from there, uh, let me just show you the data. Now, because there's no data, obviously there's going to be zero columns and zero rows. So, it does connect. It does uh, access the uh, tables and the databases. If I had data, uh, probably have some data in the data object. But for now, it's all fine. That's all I care about. I just want to show you that that uh, this this R. MySQL does work, um, and again, um, the only way to get around, uh, if you want it to work on Windows, um, you will need to probably uh, install MingW, as well as uh, download the GCC for uh, MingW uh, in order to build this within R. It's a lot of extra steps. Personally, I find it just easier just to build uh, uh, a virtual box machine or virtual machine using virtual box. It's free. Can then download your uh, uh, whatever Linux flavor you want. In my case, like I said, this is Ubuntu. You could do CentOS, whatever. It's all free. Uh, if you're trying to get into the career of software or infrastructure on IT front, this is a good exercise to go through just for a learn learning perspective um, and get better at uh, Linux. So that's just my suggestion. But uh, hopefully.